Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Welcome, yeah. Back, yeah. Welcome back to Heat the Conversation Sports head, Radio 16. That's that boy P. Diddy right there. No, 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 actually, that's Mace. That, that's Mace. Yeah, that's Mace. Along with P. Diddy. Yes. You know what? Mace needs to come back, man. I, you know, I think he's all right. You know what I mean? I, he had that one jam. Uh, uh, what was it? The last one he just did? Uh, it was an old, old school jam from back in the day. Like Sam for the Sun or somebody. I can't remember. I, don't know. I didn't hear that. I can't remember the name of it, Hey, but uh, Big Cass. Big Cass. We got Big Cass on the line right now, uh, a.k.a. Big Cass. Uh, Cass, you there, dog? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, man. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with me um, through the break. Um, right now, man, I know a lot of people, you know, doing movies and stuff like that. Um, are, are, are you interested in doing – you know, some you know something like that, like movies, TV, or some outside like of the wrestling. Yeah, world. outside of the wrestling world. Yeah, I'd love to do something like that. Uh, again, some movies or TV or something like that. But the opportunity hasn't presented itself yet, so uh, um, I don't know. But if the opportunity did come in front of me, I would definitely take it. TV stuff like that, uh, movies stuff like that, I would definitely do any of that. Hey man, that's a uh, Acting is definitely something that I think that uh, I would uh, I would do pretty well at, but uh, we we shall see. Hey man, uh, I think um, I think you got a good look. You know, I I think they can you know do something with you. So much going on right now, and you know one thing about uh, you know Hollywood, one thing about the the movie business, you get one good role. Um, you know, such as, you know, like Batista, boom, and things could take off for you, such as The Rock, you know what I mean, got in there, I mean, things just, boom, took off for him, you know, and like I said, you got a good look, um, you, you speak well, um, I, I think it would be something that, I think you do well in it. Well, I, I appreciate that, that's definitely something I would uh, definitely, definitely want to do. Another uh, another um, thing for, for myself, you know, um, you know, I, I'm I'm in the wrestling business, you know, I'm a, I'm a trainer, I'm a coach. You know, um, would you um, consider um, coming in training with me um, here at Reality of Wrestling and, uh, you know, refining your skills a little bit? For sure. You're you're based out of Houston, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would, for sure. I'd definitely come down there. No, man, and I say that. We're, we're up there. I don't, I, I, I don't know if Tampa. Uh, across, across, you know what I mean? Across we can say that. the way. Yeah, across yeah, the way. Yeah, across, yeah. yeah. Right, across there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, across the way. But, but definitely, man, uh, uh, Bobby Lashley, um, um, you know, he one of the guys that came and, and trained with me. Um, uh, MVP, uh, another guy who came and um, trained with me and, you know, uh, sat under the learning tree and learned those little bitty tricks of the trade of how to go out and learn the art of doing nothing. Which is exactly what, that's the exact art of wrestling. <laughs> doing doing the least possible, getting the best reaction. Yeah, man, heck yeah, man, like King Bucca. You know what I mean? He did yeah. a whole lot of but, nothing. But I, 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 think, I think MVP is actually, uh, I think MVP is actually working for a company that I was going to uh, start working for called uh, CWL. They're based out of Michigan. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so, so the thing was, like, I got a call. Obviously, once you get released, a bunch of people start texting phone, phone you. Phone ringing off the hook, man. Of course, because Michael did Mike, did, Mike, did Michael Bryan call you? <laughs> no, I, I don't know who that is. But it, 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 there was this one dude. Uh, his name was Dustin, based out of Michigan, and uh, his promotion CWL. I think it's Championship Wrestling League, yeah. and like. The way he pitched me, I was like, "This kind of sounds like, uh, a, a, you know, like it, I was like, if uh, I can imagine Tommy Dreamer or Taz getting a call from some dude named Paul, you know, in the mid '90s, and be like, <laughs> being like, what, the, who, who the hell is this guy? But this guy called me, and I'm telling you, uh, his passion and and his uh, his, I don't know, I just." Something about him just clicked, and uh, I'm pretty sure MVP has signed on with him. So, CWL up in Michigan, just look out for them. Hey, man, um, definitely. Uh, that's the thing, man, finding a good group to work with. And, and with you, man, like I said, your, your phone is going to be ringing off the hook. I was talking to a friend of mine um, just yesterday, um, Hurricane Helms. And uh, yeah. and uh, I was like, yeah, Hurricane, you hit call me. Actually, it was on uh, on Friday. Uh, uh, yeah, that was just yesterday. He called me and he goes, "Hey man, I saw you, man. I saw you on TV, man. And you know, we was talking and whatnot. 
And uh, I was like, yeah, man, what you doing this weekend? He goes, man, I'm I'm booked on tonight, I'm booked tomorrow, and I'm booked on Sunday. You know? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm like, well, what about next week? He goes, man, next week, man, not a good week. I'm booked Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I go, I'm like, wait a minute, you kidding me, right? He goes, man, you just would not believe how much work it is out here. You know what I mean? And and he's never you know, at a moment, um, looking, looking, uh, go out there and do something, man. So, uh, definitely, man. And that's, that's something I've never experienced. Like, that's something I'm like looking forward to experiencing, like just going out there it, it, because from what I hear, like I talked to my, my buddies from WWE still like Kevin Owens or Daniel Bryan, yeah. who has helped me tremendously in more ways than one. And, and, they just say that the work outside of WWE right now is it's incredible compared to what it was when uh, they were just working independence and yeah. stuff. It really is. In, in Japan has got. I mean, New Japan has gotten so much hotter. You know, since the uh, you know the Young Bucks have pretty the much Omegas. Put, yeah, o- yeah, Omegas. Man, they've put you know put put that thing on the map, man. So and I was talking to Adam Cole. Uh, out on one of the independent shows, and uh, you know, he, he, man, I'm, I'm, every time I would be at a show um, doing an autograph signing, he would be there. You know what I mean? And I was like, last time I was like, man, when, when are they gonna sign you? He was like, man, oh, I don't know, man. I'm just waiting on the phone call. And now, <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, now he's there, um, and, and and he's one of the he's one of the biggest stars in NXT. He really is. He really is. It is all due- Adam Cole. He's a, he's a great. That guy is a. I don't say this about many people. That guy's a great human being, like just an amazing human being. You know, Adam Cole is a great dude. You said you saying that, man, uh, reaffirms the way I, I think about this kid, man. Uh, when he uh, got signed in WWE, uh, we was at one of the pay per views, and he and he uh, remember. I said, man, don't worry, man, they're gonna sign you. And uh, he he saw me at one of the pay per views, and he came up. He goes, hey Booker, and I go. What's up, man? He goes, man, nothing. I go, did I tell you? He goes, yeah, man. You know, he gave me a big hug. You know, so no, I'm serious, man. I'm serious, you know. And I and I root for you guys, man. I root for you, young guys, to make it, man. You know, and I root for you to get back in there. I root for you to get back on that roster, doing great things. And and I yeah, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, the thing I, is, I, I will say this. Go ahead. Since since I debuted, you were one of my biggest advocates and one of the people that had always in the back. Uh, before shows, just always giving me great advice. Like uh, I'll never forget that you you definitely uh, took me under your wing very 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 quickly. I, I do appreciate. It. Hey man, appreciate that. I don't do that with too many people. You know what I mean? Brad I sitting next to me right here. I took him under my wing. You know what? Six seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> six years. And you know, we, we, no, I'm serious. You know, I mean, young kid come in my office. You know, the boo foot hair dude, rosy <laughs> cheeks. You know, like what are you doing here? You know what I mean? But uh, definitely, man. Uh, I, I took to you uh, for a reason, man. I see something in you, bro. Uh, you know, do your time, man. You know what I mean? And right, it, and I look at it. <laughs> I look at it like that, like being locked up. You know what I mean? Do your time, man, and uh, make make just do of that time as well, man. You know what I mean? That that time that I was locked up down there, and you know, um, you know, Pack Two Prison uh, uh, Facility. I made just do of that time, and I made sure that I was not going to make the same mistakes that I made before. I made sure that I was going to take a big broom and start sweeping and cleaning up all of that mess that I made. And I made sure um, I talked to guys all the time, man, that I was going to be able to make it in the locker room before I made it in the ring. And that's what I'm I'm pushing for you, Big Kaz. Um, yeah, you, you that, got, that, that, that's the thing. Like, I, I uh, so like when you first get released, you're, you're very bitter and you're, you're mad and, uh, but now I've I've had time to reflect, and I know, yeah, they made the right decision. I was not doing well. Uh, I was doing some things that could have, you know, I I just was was being you, a liability. Well, I'm gonna that. tell you right now, and, just, and, and, and t- that's what I need let me, to. Let me let me tell you what. Let me tell you exactly what what how things is, man. Uh, this this is true life. You know, it, it, you can get in that position. You know what I mean when. Fans are cheering your name, you know, people are asking you for your autograph, you know, um, you know, you could almost 
you know, forget and, you know, start thinking that it's about you. You know what I mean? And immediately when you have those thoughts right there is, is the, the, the beginning of the downfall, you know, not yes. to, to, to know that is, is definitely not about you. Um, this is a job that I come to. Um, you give me the script and I'm going to go out there and make it the best that you have ever seen. And I'm going to go home and collect my paycheck. Those are the guys that make it to the end. You know what I mean? I, I can honestly say that I have never once in my whole wrestling career asked about, you know, you know, how about us doing this angle? Um, how about, you know, let's do me have a run with this guy. I've never once done that before. You know why big Cass? you know, you know why? Martha. Because I say, um, you know, cream rise to the top, man. I'm gonna go out here and shine in this match. I'm gonna go out here and make the people, you know, um, you know, jump. They're gonna see something that they have never seen before, and they're gonna want to pay money to come back and see it again. Therefore, the writer is gonna get with these other writers and say, "Man, we gotta write something for this guy." You, you, should, need you should just take that audio clip that you just gave to me <laughs> right there and give it to every wrestling school in the country. Because that was perfect, perfectly said. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. No, man, how can, uh, how can people find uh, Big Cass um, Steel right now, man? Uh, people, I, 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 I want the world out there to know, guys. It's Heated Conversation Sports Radio 16. I want the world to get behind Big Cass, get him back on, on the roster, get him back in in the game. And like, like I say, man, do your time. Go out there and get that worldly experience. But we want the world, we want to see you back on primetime television, man. How, how do people, uh, you know, get in touch with Big Cass on your social media accounts and whatnot? Well, my social media, I, I'll be honest with you, but my social media is usually not active. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Big Cass WWE, uh, I haven't changed it since I got released. Because you know my, you'll be uh, back. You know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That means I'll be back. That's my handle on Instagram and on uh uh, and on Twitter, but I think on Twitter you can't. God, I'm gonna sound like such a noob right now. On Twitter, you can't message somebody unless they uh, follow you or something like that. So Instagram is the way to to hit me up. That that's where you can find me. Uh, just twenty two days, twenty two days. All you promoters out there, twenty two days. <laughs> you know how to Instagram him. And um, like I say, then you, you set your, your, your stuff up, man. Your phone's going to be ringing off the hook, man. Like I said, I definitely want to get you down here to Houston and uh, work with you, man. I love to, man. Uh, I know. would love to. Just just text me, and uh, we'll definitely be in contact about that. Oh, yeah, man. Let's get it done, man. Hey, man, yeah. I love you, bro. I'm going to be pushing I for you. I love you too, man. Hey, man, I, I appreciate you for coming on also. No, I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Book. All right, bro. Hey, man, Heated Conversation Sports Radio 16. That's Big Cass, man. We're going to get Big Cass back in the game, man. And that's the thing, man. Life, trials, and tribulations, man. You got to go through something in order to know what you're going through. That's just the way it is. You yeah. know what I mean? So, um, you know, a, a guy that um, take respons responsibility of own up to, you know, uh, a wrong, I, I can only respect that, man. I can only respect that. And one thing um, – well, that's what a man is, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Taking responsibility for something you did, hey, knowing that it was on you, hey, man, and doing whatever it takes to get hey, back to hey, what you wanted to get back to. Hey, I did that. You know, that what was I mean? on me. You know, just like on first forty-eight, I look at it all the time. Man, first forty-eight, <laughs> you know, cops get them suckers in there, man. They start confessing. They're good. You know what I mean? They start confessing in a heartbeat. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> It's amazing, man. That show is First so 48, crazy. First 48, man. Alive, PD. I'm all about that, man. I love, <laughs> what, what, what? You like live PD? Man, <laughs> that's one of the best shows on television right now. Live PD, man. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, man. I mean, you don't like that one? Yeah, that's not one of mine. Live PD is not one of mine. I think yeah. that my father enjoys that one, though, Bro, quite I, a lot. I, I love he tells live me all the time PD, about man. Live PD. You know, you know, young people need to look at live PD. <laughs> Like yourself, <laughs> because you can wind up getting tased. <laughs> well, I hope heartbeat, I would not. You know, I was watching this one sucker man. They they, they pulled him out of the car, <laughs> and um, you know, he's talking to him very very cordial, and then next day, you know, he just break out in a stride. You know, take off running. The cops, you know, chasing him, and they, they behind him. You know, freeze, freeze, stop. We're gonna tase you. We're gonna tase you. And he hit this gate and went over the top of it. And as he got to the top of the gate is when they tased him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man, brother fell right on top of his head. Boom. I was like, man, I mean, it was, it was amazing. Man. I was like, man, I love this show. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you run from the police and they tell you they're going to tase you. And you're, We're going to tase you. Don't jump. You know what I mean? Stay low to the ground. You don't want to jump. You know, they got this easy conversation. Uh, we got a whole lot more for you back in a minute. 